Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally posting my grips uh, video of a painting that I did a while ago. Unfortunately, I forgot to press record for the first section, but what I did, I primed my uh, 8x8 canvas with uh, black acrylic paint, and then I sketched with white charcoal pencil, and uh, then I went in with oils, just putting the basic colors of the grapes, and because of the lighting, you will see that some of the grapes have lighter base um, in them and some of them are darker, some of them are underneath other the grapes are a little bit um, just darker on average. So I put out this uh, kind of combination of lighter and darker color so you can see how well they distributed around the painting so I have some sort of a composition because there's not that much going on, just one wine of grapes. So uh, for some of them I used a mix of my reds. I used cadmium red, I used quinacridone red, I used Venetian red, which is a uh, more muted red, more like a burnt sienna red. I used burnt sienna too and um, I used uh, burnt umber for some of my shadows too. And. Uh, for my darker grapes, I used a mixture of dioxazine purple, uh, paints gray, and raw umber. Dioxazine purple is a very strong color, they're beautiful but very strong, so the combination of raw umber and paints gray helped mute it down a little bit. And then I started going sort of grape by grape, adding uh, highlights to it, not necessarily highlights, but sort of this milky film that you see on top of the grapes and I tried to paint a fairly abstract, fairly rough so I don't go into too many details. So in some areas for this film I used um, almost a dry brush effect and I did not use the white straight out of the tube. I muted it down a little bit with the paints gray and in some areas I made a little orangey, so I put a little bit of burnt sienna to it, some made a little bluer, a little purpler, and again, the grapes that are closer to light are going to have higher contrast on them, and those are further away or more sort of in between the other grapes, they're going to have much more muted highlights. And uh, you will see that I started going grape by grape, but then I was sort of going back between uh, some of them, and that was because it, it took me several days to work on it. So on some of the days I discovered a new sort of blending technique or something that worked better for me or like here I added a much bluer, cooler highlights instead of having the warmer, pinker highlights. And so when I see that something was working on some of the grapes, I would go back and add that to, to the other grapes. So here I'm starting to work on that glass bowl. And this is actually a cocktail glass, I think. I don't think this is a fruit ball. Um, I don't know, I, I got it from um, Home Goods or something like that. It was just one. So I don't know if it comes as a set of the cocktail glasses or something like that. And um, highlights are very tricky on the glass. I don't want to add too much. I don't want to have too much going on to distract the attention from the grapes. And uh, I work from the combination of different pictures that I took because some of the pictures have more highlights depending on the angle. Then I went around with some black oil paints, which is just a combination of paints gray and raw umber because acrylic paint dries to a very matte light finish. So I went around it to add richer darkness to it. And um, as I started working on the wine, I struggled with it quite a bit. I used mainly sap green with white and a little bit of yellow ochre to warm it up. A little cadmium yellow too, I think. But just trying to get the shape to be simple yet interesting was a little bit of a challenge and I wanted to have the darker side of the wine, the one, the one in the shadow, um, a little softer, so I'll sort of going back and forth, back and forth between blending that and not, not trying to blend it too much, but just a little bit. And uh, 
yeah, a little bit of struggle. And uh, I am using my rosemary brushes for the most part. Um, I think at that time I was using my Eclipse Long Filbert size 2. Uh, oh no, that one is actually Ivory Long Filbert size 0. Yeah, for the smaller details I used the um, Ivory one. Ivory is a little uh, thicker one. It's um, not as flexible, not as soft, so it's better when you're trying to have a control over small details. And when I was painting grapes, I was mostly using my Eclipse Long Filbert size 2 and size 4. These are my most favorite brushes. So at this point, I was just going back and forth, back and forth between adding details and going over them and um, I was painting some of the grapes that you see through the glass. Very light, very muted color, not too much contrast because um, I'm not trying to take the attention away from my main grapes that on top to have more light to them. Painting the rim of the glass was a challenge too. Trying to get the curvature of the glass just right, that was a challenge and I was working with adding more highlights or less highlights and couldn't, couldn't quite get it at first. So it took me a few tries, I think it even took me a few days, so I was probably coming back the next day. Um, and fixing it again. But it's it's a fun um, it's, it's fun to paint glass. It was fun to try something challenging. So here is a finished painting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!